Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how to create a simple book cover on Canva. So what I'm going to try and do is to improve on this book cover here. You can see that it's a password book and it reads as OMG or oh my god, I can't remember. So these kinds of password books sell quite well, but there are a few issues with this cover, which I'm going to show you now. So you can see here that I've copied the cover onto Adobe Illustrator. Now there's a couple of issues with this cover. Number one is that you can see the text is quite small so ideally what you want is that you want the text to cover a larger portion of the book cover because if I go back to the listing you can see that it's quite small and it's difficult to read and it doesn't really stand out so you need your text you need the main parts of your book cover to stand out so that's the first issue the second issue is that you can see there's a shadow around the text now having a drop shadow around the text isn't a bad idea in fact it can make the text stand out but the issue here is that it's too apparent and it's too dark and it doesn't really help with making the text stand out if anything it's more displeasing on the eye so these are the two things I'm going to try and improve on now I'm not saying that I'm going to create a book cover that's better than this cover but what I am saying is that I'm going to try my best to improve on it. So that way you can also learn about how to create book covers on Canva and what to look out for when creating covers yourself. So you can see here that I've got Canva open so I'm going to click on create a design. So what I like to do is when creating a design I like to create the front cover and back cover separate then I like to put both of them together onto the cover template to create the book cover. So my book cover is going to be 6 times 9 inches. So in pixels, if you multiply that by 300, it gives me 1800 times 2700. So I'm going to click on create and you can see here that for the units, I've got pixels selected. So I'm going to click on create new design. The next thing I'm going to do is download a background from Creative Fabrica. You can see that I'm on the site. So I'm just going to type in floral background. And then you can see that there's all these results. So what I want is to be able to download a graphic that has POD license. So I'm just going to scroll down and then click on print on demand. So that way I can use the graphics as they are without any significant modifications. Otherwise, whatever graphics you download, you have to modify them. So what you want to do is you want to search through these graphics to find something that you like. So I've already done this. I found a graphic that I like and that graphic is this one here. You can see that this floral background, I'm going to use that as the background to my book cover. So as you can see here that it says you've already downloaded this file. So I've already downloaded it. So if I go back over here, you can see that if I go to uploads, the graphic is already there. So I'm just going to place it on top and then just resize it. You can see here that with this particular graphic, the text is in the background. So whoever created this graphic should have gotten rid of the text, but they didn't. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cover it up with the same color to the background. So I'm just going to grab a rectangle and then just cover the text. And then if I go to colors over here, you can see that it's already displayed the background color. So I'm just going to select it. The next thing I'm going to do is add in my text. So the text is OMG I can't remember so I'm going to type in OMG first so I'm just going to go over here to text and then click on this add a heading and then I'm just going to type in OMG and then enlarge it and what you want to do at this stage is you want to just go through the fonts to find something suitable and something that suits the cover and the text so that's exactly what I'm going to do so what you want to do is just go through them and you know find something that looks good so let's try this one here no, I don't think this is going to work. Let me try some different ones. Okay, so this one looks okay, but I think it's a little bit too bold. So you just want to try out different fonts to find something that looks good. And this process can take some time. I know sometimes these videos are short and it seems like I've created the covers in 10 or 15 minutes. But that's not the case. You know, it takes much longer than that because there's a lot of testing that goes on to make sure that everything goes well together and everything matches. So in the end, I've decided to go with this font here. It's called Alerta Stencil. You can also use the font if you want to. It's part of the free fonts on Canva. I currently have the pro version. And if you want to go ahead and also download the pro version, then I do have a link to it in the description, as well as a link to a special offer from Creative Fabrica. So if you are interested, then go ahead and check out those links. So you can see here that I've got my text. So I'm just going to make it larger because what you want is for the main elements of your design to stand out. And of course, the text over here, OMG, is a main element. The next thing I'm going to do is add in the other text. So the other text is, you can see here, I can't remember. So I'm going to type that in. So 
So either you can have this text in two lines, as you can see here, I can't remember, or you can have it in one line. So I'm just going to put in one line for now. And then what I'm going to do is just change the font. So you can see here that this is a simple sans font, whereas this one here, I want a script type font. So I'm just going to click on the arrow here. And then over here, what you can do is type in script or calligraphy. And then you can choose a font from here. So I'm just going to test this font out to see how it looks. So this looks okay. But let me just check out a few more fonts. Let's try this one here. This one also looks okay, but it is a little bit difficult to read. So I'm just going to try out one or two more. And then this one here, apricots. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick to this font. So apricots. And then what you want to do next is you can see that the text is black. So ideally you want to select a color that's already part of your design. So I'm not just going to leave it at black. I'm going to select one of these purple colors. So I'm going to have both of these texts selected. And then over here, I'm just going to select a purple color. You can see here that it's already showing this color because it's in the cover. And then there's also this color here a little bit on the gray side. So what I'm going to do is click on this button here and then just use the eyedropper tool to select a bit of a darker color. So I'm just going to select this darker purple. And then what you can do is if you want it to be a little bit more darker, you can just adjust it here. So I'm going to leave it at that. So you can already see that the text on this cover stands out more because it's larger. So if I just compare it to the other cover, you can see that it stands out a lot more here. So what I'm going to also do is add in a drop shadow. So I'm going to have both of these selected and then I'm going to click on effects and then click on shadow. Now you can see here that the shadow is too prevalent here. So I'm going to adjust it. So let me just play around with the offset. So I don't want the offset to be too much. So I think something like this is fine. And then the main thing is transparency. So it's important that you adjust this. So I think this looks okay. Let me just adjust the offset a little bit more. So I think this looks perfect. That's if you want to have drop shadow. If not, then it also looks fine without it. And of course, you can see here that this cover is quite simple and it's not something that's too complicated. A lot of the times the covers that sell well on Amazon, especially covers that are related to logbooks and journals, are covers that are simple and not too complicated. So my front cover is pretty much complete. And what I'm going to do now is create the back cover. So I'm going to click on add page. And then for the background, all you have to do is just select one of the main colors that are on the front cover. So what I can do is either select this pink color or select a purple color. So I'm just going to select a purple color. So this color here, I'm going to stick to this for the back cover. So now I have my front cover as well as my back cover. The next thing I'm going to do is download them. So I'm going to click on share. And then I'm just going to download them as PNG. So you can see here that PNG is already selected. So I'm going to click on download. So with both of them downloaded, this is how it looks. So this is the front cover and this is the back cover. The next thing I'm going to do is create the PDF cover. So you can see here that I'm back on Canva. So I'm going to click on create a design and then custom size. This time it's going to be in inches. So I already know that seeing as my book cover is six times nine inches, the total dimensions are going to be 12.5 times 9.25 inches. And of course, you're going to create your design and select the size based on the size of your book cover and page count. So I'm going to click on create new design. The next thing I'm going to do is place my template on top, which I already have uploaded. So I'm just going to locate it and then just place it on top. So it's this one over here. And then I'm just going to resize it to fit the canvas. The next thing I'm going to do is upload the front and back covers. And then also place them on top. So firstly, the front cover. I'm just going to resize it. I'm going to reduce the transparency temporarily. And you can see here that it's at the center of the cover, which is perfect. And then just place the back cover on top. So once again, I'm just going to reduce the transparency. And then you just want to make sure that the edge of it, the right side aligns with the dotted line over here. So this is fine. And then I'm just going to make it bigger. And then restore the opacity of both of them. And then that's it. You can see that this is my cover complete. So I'm just going to create a copy of this and then on the copy, I'm just going to remove the template from the background. 
so this one over here page 2 is my completed cover and I'm just going to click on the share button to download it so I'm going to click on download over here make sure that it's PDF so I'm going to use PDF print select page 2 and then just download it so here is my completed cover ready to be uploaded onto KDP and that's it for this video I hope you enjoyed it and if you did then don't forget to like it and also make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos like this